Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, um, if you're new here, then hi, my name's Amber. Um, it would mean so much to me if you could click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any um, uploads from me. I'll be linking my previous videos in the description box below. So, if you head down there and um, yeah, go and watch them. And um, yeah, so if you um, enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get in the video. So today I thought I would um, talk you through um, how I revise. Um, personally, I find it effective, but um, that's just how I revise. And some people will be different and they may not find it effective. They may find a different way of revising works for them, which is perfectly fine. Um, so... If I just talk to you like my study routine, so basically to help me out revise and know what I need to revise, I create a revision planner of like the day and then the the subjects that I will revise and then the topics within the subjects I revise and how long for. I feel like this gives me a good outline of um what I need to revise that night and yeah, it's just a good way of um spacing out the subjects so you don't cram it all in so I find that doing uh, 30 minutes of a subject um, so I, I do two subjects a night so do 30 minutes of each um, so and kind of like space these subjects out um, I do mainly more revision at the weekends um, because I mainly have more time then but like if I wanted to revise in the evenings I'll do an hour or so which is reasonable um, another well tip number two don't do too much revision um a lot of revision can mean that you don't necessarily remember everything um and i find that if i space out my revision and do it revise like a certain amount of um time before my exams it's proven to work better because if you cram it in all last minute um then you may not necessarily remember everything. Um, uh, tip number three, when revising, um, it can be very tiring and it can require a lot of concentration. Um, so try to give yourself breaks in between revising subjects and maybe switch up topics when you're revising a subject and then come back to that topic. Um, I mainly find um, that using flashcards and mind maps work because it can kind of help me to recap key information and it helps me to retain information better, especially history as you have to remember like key dates and um, things that happened in key years. Also uh, maths, I usually do practice questions because I find that, that helps me to like kind of go back and kind of um, remember back to when I was doing that topic and then do questions on it so it can stay in my brain for a lot longer. Um, for Spanish I use Quizlet because I find that's quite good to revise vocab. Um, yeah I find that very effective um, and also when revising grammar in Spanish I usually um, just use like my revision book and um, if I'm trying to remember like endings of a certain like tense or like for the preterite tense um, I would like write the endings out a certain amount of times and then once I've done that um, and committed it to memory I will then try and do that the next day and see if I remember it I find that's a very good way of remembering endings and it helps it um, to commit it to your memory um, for English, um, I sometimes reread books, highlight key quotes, annotate them. Um, also, history is good to do like a timeline of events. Like, so for the Cold War, do like a timeline of events for the Cold War. Um, science, I use Quizlet. Um, I find that's very good. Um, for anthropology there's not really much you need to know it's pretty much common sense you only need to know like um, anecdotes from like ethnographies um, so I feel like this is a good way 
Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, my main tips would be um, space out your revision, take breaks, find the method that works for you. So the method that I use is flashcards and uh, mind maps. Um, try not to cram it in all last minute and remember to switch up topics when you are revising a subject because this is proven to help you remember and then when you come back to it you can kind of like go over that um, also another good way of helping uh, knowledge or information to um, f helping you remember knowledge or information is to um, write it down so once you've studied a topic um, give it five minutes or say do the next day and write down everything you remember that way you can commit that to your long-term memory um, so yeah I hope you guys did find this useful I mean these this is my opinion these are what this is what works for me um, so I mean the techniques is not going to work for everyone um, different people will find different methods effective um, so yeah but I this is just like what method I find effective to revise and when I do revise um, and also to get people to test you is another way of um, yeah helping you to remember um, any information you need to know um, so yeah that's it for today's video um, Maybe if you could comment in the description or the comment section below what kind of revision techniques you use um, and what, how um, you revise. Um, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As I said, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uploading twice a week or even three times a week. Um, and I may not always be able to upload. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!